I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this channel I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to Deja Vu, but worse by the Gregory Brothers featuring Weird Al Yankovic. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician. I react exclusively to comedy music because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means to you is that I'm gonna pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I can actually react and respond to what I'm seeing and hearing. Uh, this way I'm not laughing or talking over the jokes and missing things. This way I can describe and, and compliment how or maybe not compliment, how the video and lyrics work in tandem together, helping emphasize the jokes. Sometimes I'm even explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people. And sometimes I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, Consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other exclusives like that anyway. All of that out of the way. Really quickly, before we dive into the video, I do want to remind people that the Logan Awards, the Comedy Music Awards, of which I am the chairman, uh, are now taking open nominations for songs that were released in 2023 for 2024's awards. Go over to loganawards.com and click the nominations tab, or just Click the link in the description box below, and you can nominate your favorite songs from 2023 for this year's awards. Um, also, really quick, if you missed it in the last video, uh, Taking Funny Music Seriously is out now. This is a textbook about funny music from a musicologist named Lily Hirsch, who previously wrote a book about Weird Al called Weird Al Seriously. Uh, this is an amazing book. Uh, features interviews with a lot of comedy musicians, including myself. Uh, and uh, goes through the history of comedy music and all its different forms and why it is so much more than just a novelty. Definitely check that out. Link is also in the description box below for that. Uh, I think that's it as far as preamble here. Oh yeah, I'm recording this song on uh, uh, the 4th of July, which is why I'm wearing a shirt of the Presidents of the United States of America. The band. The only presidents I really trust. Um, and uh, obviously this song kind of ties into that. But you're watching this video on July 5th. That's the day it comes out anyway. And that's National Ian Day. Yes, this is a real holiday. So to celebrate National Ian Day, I'm having a discount on all my music over at Bandcamp. Uh, you can uh, check out the description about that in the description box below. Get a percentage off of all my stuff, CDs, downloads, etc. Uh, that is in the description box below as well. Anyway, uh, now let's dive in to the song. Get all of that preamble out of the way. <sighs> this is going to be a tough one. I'm having, I'm having deja vu of looking at this screen uh, and saying this. That's weird. I feel like I did that already. That's what deja vu is. Seeing something and feeling like it's happened before. And that's actually literally happening to me. Um, so, Weird Al did a song with the Gregory Brothers, or Shmo Yoho, or Songify the News, whatever they're called. They have three names. Um, the channel is called Shmo Yoho. The artists are the Gregory Brothers. They do Songify the News, but that's what they're known as everywhere. All of those things. Uh, three years ago, they did a song together called We're Doomed about the debate between Trump and Biden. This week, uh, basically five days ago, uh, the day after the debate happened, but the new debate for 2024 between Trump and Biden, they've made another song and they've recruited Weird Al for this one again. Um, if you have not seen that video, I definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, I, I have not reacted to that one, and I probably won't react to that one because it's kind of older now. Um, I was considering doing it to this one, but I've seen it. So, me reacting to something I've seen doesn't really work. Uh, I try to do it as first impression stuff, but here, the new one, Deja Vu but worse. It's the same people in the debate, only one of them is now a twice-impeached convicted felon, 
And the other one was sick and is a zombie and is also older than dirt. Um, they're both older than dirt. Um, yay. Um, let's see what kind of comedy they call from all of this. Hooray, democracy. You can see he is six foot five and only 223 pounds, or 235 pounds. And, but by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? <laughs> That's, uh... That's already a great reaction uh, from Al of of Joe just sounding like he has no voice and just saying something and it just kind of trailing off the uh, it not really making sense and him having to correct himself of not making sense and just and like right after this right after the bait he did like a campaign thing and was feeling much better apparently because he was speaking really well so uh, I'm gonna turn the captions on for this just just to just to keep it clear What's the biggest ride? he's a six handicap of all I was an eight handicap yeah <sighs> I have, you know how many, how, I've seen you swing, I know you swing. I just won two club championships, not even senior. Two yeah, you won two club championships at the club you own. That's fine. Um, Al's uh, <laughs> reaction in this of just being agog at all of this and uh, without words is kind of how the whole country felt. Why are you guys talking about golf? In this debate, ah, uh, I give us club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart. No, you don't. You be able to hit the ball a long way, and I do. <laughs> <laughs> Al was clearly looking at his phone under the table and had to shove it away when the camera got to him. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. But he can't hit a ball fifty yards. He challenged me to a golf match. Do you ever get the feeling you've been somewhere before? He can't hit a ball fifty yards. Uh, I think I'm in very good shape. Anybody? <laughs> Nobody? Just me! Let's not act like... Al, hands down, has the greatest stressed scream in all of the world. Like, he hits a pitch, man, of that scream that just gets so much into the upper register. And you can just feel the, the tension, the stress, the the insaneness of it all it's a brilliant talent uh to do that and not completely kill your voice um al has it nailed al has the the crazy scream down pat children and by the way brought to you by juice burger Eat it, eat burger. You love burger. Pay money for burger. Allegations unproven. You know. <laughs> you love it. Eat burger. Eat burger. Allegations unproven. <laughs> you not sexy if you don't burger. No burger, bad girl. Holy crap! I don't know why we suddenly have an ad here. This is amazing. <laughs> Sexy if you don't burger, no burger, bad girl. Do <laughs> and we're back with a lot more democracy, a whole lot more juice burger, and a little bit of private television networks making money off of our nation's turmoil. And a yep. One and a two and a four and a seven. Now it's time for the first question. We're the richest country, but if you're living in a shed, when does the economy trickle down through the corrugated roof above your head? He's the only president of the Herbert Hoover who's ever lost more jobs than he had when he could get. All he had to do was try to put things back together again for all Americans. The job. All right, that was actually cohesive. Went down and then they bounced back and he's taking credit if you can do that. We're the worst <laughs> economy in the history of our country. He's the worst president in history by far. I didn't have sex with the boys. No. Why would you bring that up in a debate? Well, uh... This is the first debate in U.S. history where somebody had to say, I didn't have sex with the porn star. That shouldn't be... 
<laughs> okay, this is just. Let's keep going. It has eight million jobs and clean energy. Can we double the guys before the sea levels rise and our roommates with a manatee? I want immaculate clean water. <laughs> Will manatees have electoral rights in Florida if they become Weird Al Yankovic's? I can't see it through the captions. Damn it. Roommate. <laughs> And there was a thing before that on, on the previous one. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go back and, and look at it, because that's a... Uh, how would Trump ensure prices aren't driven higher by the 10% tariff he wants on all goods coming into the U.S.? That seems like that was the actual CNN question. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is so much crap. And I want air that's clean. And we had it. We had H2O, all forms of energy. He's gonna claim he that cleans water. He ain't got a damn thing. The only existential threat to humanity is climate change. Okay, that's true. I'm glad he managed to somehow stutter that out. Uh, yeah, climate change is a very real problem. Um, but saying, yeah, basically Trump's part. Trump's part of the entire debate was uh, a lot of uh, really provably false things. He said a lot of things, and no one fact-checked him during the debate. At least not on the air, as the person who was asking the question should have. Uh, Y'all are gonna realize, I mean, if you haven't already by this point, my political standings here. Um, uh, this is... I love Al. I love the Gregory brothers. Uh, I weep for what's happening to our nation. Uh, and th this is uh, hard to sit through. <laughs> I think I'm getting deja vu. Every single thing you change is a lie. It's true. Just being the same to do. I've never seen anybody lie like this. Never seen anybody lie like this. Have you ever had the feeling that you've been somewhere before? Before? Yeah. Now have we fallen under a wizard's curse to suffer deja vu? But what is this one? Just manage to complain. My friend's a low hurt. Ow! I think I'm getting. <laughs> Deja vu, but worse, my frontal lobe hurts. That's a fantastic lyric. Uh, Al, I will say, uh, released unreleased, uh, unused sections of this song on his Instagram and uh, TikTok, which he'd put it up on YouTube. But uh, it's him sitting in front of the green screen and a couple of questions that did not wind up in the final song are there, and they are great. Um, yeah, like, the fact that the Gregory Brothers worked on this overnight and got it out the next day, the day after the debate, is phenomenal. That is an amazing, impressive amount of work. Having to auto-tune and find all the right clips in this hugely long debate and try to cull some sort of comedy out of it uh, as we watch two octogenarians argue about golf stats and porn stars. Uh, <laughs> Except this time that you're in the place you've been before, it's way, way, way worse. Yeah, it, it's somehow worse now than it was the last time we saw it. They, they both brought up the porn star, that's great. Uh, Al's lyrics here, Al's singing here are great, uh, is great, and uh, he seems to be the less auto-tuned out of the three of them. I think I'm getting deja vu. We have to be way smart. Who set off on this reboot? A reboot, yeah. People are dying all over the place. We're a Muslim white country in the United States. This is a disgrace. We are the most admired country in the United States. We're the most united, uh, admired country in the United States. Guys. Can we get somebody who can put a sentence together and not make a gaffe like that? That's like saying... Flat Earthers have supporters all over the globe. Do you, do you realize the, the problem there? Oh boy. 
Okay, moving on. Being you who made this deja vu. Remember last election, things got completely unhinged. How about a normal one this time? Because I think coups are kind of cringe. <laughs> Yeah, things got unhinged. January 6th. Uh, <laughs> coups are kind of cringe. That's, that's a great line. Can we expect our democracy to function normally this year, or in any other future year? Given what the uh, Supreme Court has just done, that is a really good question. Ugh. He us, folks, I think the beauty of this song, this Songify the News, is this debate is a little bit more comprehensive than the actual debate was. Like, we're getting... We're, we're actually honing in on what the answers could be here to the questions. Uh, and, and But also, like, let's also follow that up with suddenly what's your catchphrase. These, the candidates have been generally encouraged to freestyle with their most amusing or trenchant remarks. <laughs> uh, I... I, I Love that this has captions. I wish they didn't cover the uh, the lower thirds. Make a failing nation great again. Putin can draw one day or respect him. For three and a half years we're living in hell. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. No president's ever spoken like that. Be in the most of an alley cat. This guy has a creature tax. He kind of is flat on his back. Um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if... We finally beat Medicare. That tracks. <laughs> we finally beat Medicare. That tracks. Oh. <laughs> I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look. Oh, uh, what was the what was the the caption here? Why should voters trust Biden to cause the immigration crisis? All right, that was the actual Chiron there. I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look. And this ain't a good sequel like Paddington 2. <laughs> yeah, uh, not to get off topic here a little bit, but yeah. Paddington 2 is universally a much better movie than the first Paddington. I haven't seen either of them. I keep meaning to see them. I hear they're great. Um, and uh, people seem to really like Paddington 2 more than Paddington 1, and Paddington 1's still a good movie. Uh, consensus. We all thought this debate was going to be like 2020 the sequel. Uh, yeah, kinda. It's more like we're watching the Temple of Doom. Okay, we've got Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom with Trump as Indiana and Biden as Willie. Cool. Uh, new Night Terrors unlocked. No, this ain't the Empire Strikes Back. Uh, consensus, but it's way more switches than that. It's a horror reboot. The time you tried to reheat your Big Mac. To say yeah, you can't reheat McDonald's. That, uh, yeah, that's that is a horror show. Uh, it, it, they're not meant to do that. You ever see a, a Big Mac, like, left outside, break down? It takes way longer than it does normal food. Also, don't, don't get food from McDonald's. Number one, it's terrible for you, and number two, uh, they support the war on Palestine, and that's terrible. Uh, ceasefire now. Uh, yeah, this is, uh... This breakdown is amazing, but also, like, all the comparisons are hilarious. Watching the Temple of Doom. 
No, this ain't the Empire Strikes Back. It's the time you tried to reheat your Big Mac. This ain't even Fast and Furious 6. It's more like that Home Alone we got on Netflix. <laughs> I, I love this random comparison of movies. Like, why is that suddenly a thing? But yeah, it's great. And I wonder if this is like lyrics written by Al or written by the Gregory Brothers. That's such, that's such a fun, goofy little thing. And yeah, the criminals in that Home Sweet Home Alone poster are Biden and Trump again. Awful. Okay. I think Olivia Rodrigo would agree This is even worse than your ex eating strawberry ice cream though <laughs> This ain't the Lord of the Rings, the two towers This is Shrek Forever After when it's still two hours You know what, Shrek Forever After was still better than Shrek the Third. I'll die on that hill, and not just because when I shave, I look like Rumpelstiltskin. Production of Greece, and I'm the only guy because I <laughs> wouldn't let anyone miss a practice day. <laughs> Man, Al's falsetto is so good. <laughs> but like this whole section, this whole breakdown of the guy who's asking the questions, uh, is so good. This is this is so really well written, really kind of bizarre with the comparisons that it's making, but also just great. Debate causes America to dwell on their deepest regrets while also contemplating their moral mortality. Yeah, no shit. Oh my god. Now I'm on stage two, walking by myself. That in Greece. In the back row, screams, I'm in hell. I feel lower than dirt, smaller than nothing, and on the next day my junior prom date <laughs> the fact that he's doing that in front of them. I wonder if any of that was true. Obviously, probably just made for comedic purposes, but still. Uh, also, I'm going to roll it back just a bit here, because uh, Al does one of the greatest things that Al does. I could hear it coming here. Holding out a long note, and then that comedic breath in. Gasp over a p regret and hypoxia, says the captions. <laughs> Quality caption. Quality caption there. Been there, right? <laughs> anyway, that's what this feels like. <laughs> We've all been there, right? Yeah, relatable. Everybody had to be the only guy member in a production of Grease in junior high, and then the next day your prom date dumps you. Sure. Everyone knows that feeling. Moving on. I heard so much malarkey in my whole life. Oh. Joe, our country is being destroyed as you and I sit up here and waste a lot of time on this debate. I think we're getting deja That was the smartest thing I've ever heard Trump say. Ooh. Every single thing is a lie. Just being the same to do. I've never seen anybody like The last time these two guys were in an election, we had to do an election with them again in the next election. Ouch. My brain. It's impossible for Trump and Biden to face off in 2028 unless one of them changes the Constitution. Little did we know, the Supreme Court ruling a little bit later changed what presidential actions are illegal or not. Oh, and there's the Gregory brothers. Uh, uh, and, uh, I, I don't know who they are, but somebody's, they're in a dress and heels, uh, playing the music here with an American guitar. That's good. That's a good, that's a good thing. Oh, I think I'm getting deja vu. You have to be quite smart. Who's that off of this reboot? I'm just actually the point, sir. We did a great job. Perfect. All made sense. Totally normal. <laughs> we should get together in four years and do this again. No. Um, 
having Al be the normal one in the room, in the room, uh, is is definitely a thing that shouldn't be. But having Al be the most normal one in this debate is disturbing, to say the least. <laughs> Screams in terror and sense of being trapped in a time loop, says the caption. Oh, sadly relatable. Yeah, yeah, watch him to become enlightened. There's a link to the We're All Doomed there. Behold babies. Drive trucks. He's just sitting there what yelling. Watch every song of my debate here and register to vote at vote.org. And after you do that, have a great day and a great life. Brought to you, Brought to you by Juice Burger. You by Juice Burger. Juice Burger. So juicy. Eat it. Eat burger. You love burger. Pay money for burger. Allegations unproven. That was a thing. We watched the thing. Go vote if you're in America. Uh, so that we don't have to deal with awfulness. Please. Uh, yeah, alright. I hope you guys had a good 4th of July. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, despite my outward appearance. I did enjoy the song, just not the reality of it all. Uh, if you did enjoy this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. If you really want to help the channel out like these folks over here do, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and uh, stuff early, exclusive reactions only on Patreon, and all sorts of other cool stuff like that. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. I heard they might be somewhere near this town They might be giants got lost driving around John said to